from short tracks to road courses and super speedways. These were the drivers to watch. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 NASCAR icons. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at the finest drivers NASCAR ever produced, based on a mix of championship wins, on-track success, and their general magnetism with the fans. Number 10. Ned Jarrett The father of fellow champion Dale Jarrett, Gentleman Ned Jarrett initially raced under his brother-in-law's name to keep his father in the dark. However, his on-track victories meant the ruse didn't last too long. Starting in 1953, Jarrett would eventually claim 50 wins over a 13-year career. In 1961, Jarrett became a champion, despite only winning one race that season. In 1965, he won the Southern 500 by 14 laps, a record that still holds, and ended the year champion for the second time. Ned would retire the following year at age 34, triggered by Ford's reduced role in the sport. Number 9. Kyle Busch Brother to Kurt, Kyle Rowdy Bush is unquestionably skilled on the track, as proved by his 2015 Cup Championship, back-to-back -back Rookie of the Year titles, and being the first driver to win in NASCAR's top three circuits in the same weekend. But Rowdy is just as well known for infamous lapses in judgment. He lost a shot at the title and temporarily lost his sponsor in 2011 after he forced Ron Hornaday Jr. into a wall under caution during a truck race and in 2009, smashed a $25,000 trophy Les Paul guitar in full view of the artist who had painted it. Number 8. Cale Yarbrough The first of two drivers to win three consecutive cups, Yarbrough was a force to be reckoned with during his 1970s heyday. Debuting in 1957, Cale wouldn't take a full-time ride until 1973. He won four times that year, including his win at Bristol, wherein he led every single lap. With 83 career wins, Yarborough won nearly 15% of the races he entered, winning championship titles from 1976 through to 78. The four-time Daytona 500 winner lost the 1980 title to then-up-and-comer Dale Earnhardt by a close margin, after which he took a part-time schedule until retiring in 1988. Number 7. Tony Stewart Stewart came to what was then the Winston Cup Series as an IndyCar champion. However, unlike many open-wheel racers before him, Stewart not only took to NASCAR, he excelled. Winning three races in his debut season, Stewart naturally earned the Rookie of the Year title and impressed many by going head-to-head -head with Dale Earnhardt during that season's Gatorade Twin 125s. Through the years, Smoke would collect 49 wins and three championship titles. His 2011 Cup made him the first owner-driver champion since Alan Kowicki in 1992. Number 6. David Pearson 1960's Rookie of the Year, David Pearson has an impressive set of stats. From his three Cup titles in 1966, 68, and 69, to his 105 wins and 366 top 10s. In 1969, the Silver Fox cracked the 190 mile per hour mark in qualifying, but where Pearson really made his name was as the only real rival to the King, Richard Petty. It was a rivalry fueled by mutual respect and admiration, with both deeming each other to be the best and one that resulted in the two finishing first and second on 63 different occasions. Number 5. Jeff Gordon Initially setting out to race Indy and declining the chance to test for Jackie Stewart, a young Jeff Gordon made his Winston Cup debut in the 1992 Hooters 500, Richard Petty's final race, and the day Alan Kowicki won the championship. Though fitting, it would take time for Gordon to truly prove it. Early seasons were marred by a checkers or wreckers approach, but by 1995, Wonder Boy found a rhythm and consistency and claimed the first of his four championship titles. By the end of his 23 full seasons, Gordon would claim 93 victories, including three Daytona 500s and five Brickyard 400s. Number 4. Bobby Allison Father of fellow NASCAR star, the late Davey Allison, Bobby Allison was one of the key members of the so-called Alabama Gang despite being born in Miami, FLA. Awarded the title of most popular driver seven times, Bobby retired with 84 wins and 466 top tens, and at 50, had the distinction of being the oldest driver to win the Daytona 500. 
Allison is also remembered for an infamous fist fight following the 1979 Daytona 500, wherein he and his brother Donnie tag-teamed Cale Yarborough, and a severe crash in Pocono which resulted in him being prematurely declared dead and left him with memory loss. Number 3. Jimmy Johnson Racing in some form or another since the age of four, Jimmy Johnson was seemingly destined for greatness. In 2002, he began his first full-time season by taking the pole at Daytona, and by 2006 claimed wins at Daytona, Talladega, Indianapolis, and Martinsville, en route to the first of his five consecutive and seven total championships. After being dethroned by Tony Stewart, Johnson reclaimed his championship title in 2013 after duking it out with Matt Kenseth while 2016 saw him not only tie Dale Earnhardt in wins, but also tie The Intimidator and Richard Petty in championship titles. Number 2. Richard Petty They didn't call him the king for nothing. 1959's Rookie of the Year, NASCAR's first seven-time Winston Cup champion, and a seven-time Daytona 500 winner, Petty retired with a still-untouched 200 wins, along with 712 top tens in a 35-year career. Petty's earliest glory years are firmly linked with Plymouth, and the champ even sat out multiple races during 1965 when NASCAR banned the manufacturer's legendary Hemi engine, although he would later drive various other brands, most notably Pontiac. Frenemy to David Pearson, Petty was always the man to beat, even long after he hung up his helmet. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Number 1. Dale Earnhardt Stats alone will never do Big E justice. Known as the Count of Monte Carlo, the Man in Black, and the Intimidator, Dale Earnhardt was a legend in his own time. Much of that legend is linked with the Daytona 500, the race that took him 20 years to conquer, and the race that ultimately took his life. A seven-time Winston Cup champion with 76 career wins, Earnhardt had been a Daytona contender many times but lost the big one throughout the years to an empty gas tank, a cut tire, and unbelievably, a seagull, before finally winning the event in 1998. 